Hi, I'm Dean Jacobson. I'm a scientist and an artist. I've been teaching college biology for 20 years, and maybe not quite that long, maybe about 15 years, uh, painting mountain streams, landscapes. This is, for example, a streamscape near Stevens Pass in the North Cascades. So I find watercolor um, very demanding, but very uh, fulfilling uh, media. But then my life changed radically. In 2001, my wife and I moved to the Marshall Islands to take um, a small uh, teaching job at a small community college. And as a naturalist, a born naturalist, I couldn't resist the idea of exploring coral reefs. And this is what the Marshall Islands look like. Now, they're about the size of Texas. Uh, about over two dozen atolls. This is where we lived. Uh, Madro Atoll is where most of the population is. Madro is right next to pristine, unpolluted Arno. But much of Madro, the, po the populated area, is quite polluted. These are the dive sites I visited, both snorkeling and scuba. So, I lived out in Rye Rock. I got to know these reefs really well. And later I studied uh, the reef of Ajiltaki, where there was a uh, rain coral disease outbreak. This is where the college is, College of the Marshall Islands. And this is what a typical segment of the atoll looks like. Very narrow, only a few feet above sea level. Um, there's a reef flat, which offers protection uh, from storm waves. And the coral reef is right off in, say, from five feet of water down to 30, 40 feet of water. It's been my privilege for 12 years to take hundreds of local Marshallese students on their very first snorkel. They had never seen their own coral reefs, for most of them. And the women, who hardly ever get in the water, took to it like fish. They absolutely loved it. And we'd find puffer fish. Typically, you'd find a hundred species on one snorkel, along with turtles, a very rare manta, barracuda, and an even more rare beaked whale. I brought my whole class swimming with this whale that came into the lagoon. So this looks like a tropical paradise, but it's also a tough place to live. A developing country with a lot of petty crime, um, environments like rats, termites that eat almost anything, paintings, books, um, fire ants, cockroaches, rats, you name it. Um, I stopped doing watercolors and switched to digital photography. And one of my big passions was creating uh, panoramic images to uh, convey what I would see underwater. And for example, this one is of a northern atoll, Rongelap, made of about a dozen images stitched together with Photoshop. And this one over here is Arno. So it's a spectacularly beautiful place. But I also saw coral disease, which was really troubling. But the most troubling thing of all was actual coral mining, dredging for coral by, principally by the largest construction company in support of airport construction projects funded by the US, US FAA. And the practice was to set up a, a dredge, um, a drag line crane, and just dredge the coral directly from shore. When they could have gotten out just a little ways away from shore and mined the lagoon without damaging coral. So I draw, drew attention to this and actually saved a reef. But unfortunately that made me an enemy of the, um, this construction company. The American CEO um, pursued me. Um, very recently I was accused, arraigned, of criminal trespass for taking my class snorkeling in the lagoon two years ago. 
Well, when this happened, um, I had recently been thrown into jail for kind of getting in the face of the local EPA manager, who basically rubber-stamped the um, request to mine the reef without even examining the reef in question. No EIA, no public hearing, zero transparency. So, um, so sometimes I've complained pretty um, vociferously to him, and he complained and got me thrown into jail for 24 hours. And that resulted in me getting immediately fired, unfairly, from my college after teaching for 12 years. Now this was all very bewildering, and with the second arraignment, I thought, maybe I'll get thrown into jail again. And so I was avoiding police and walking along the shore when my dear Matt got splashed by a wave. And I didn't realize how much water got in, but it's toast. So I'm looking for funds to help me recover some very important art projects that I have going. My goal is to increase local and global awareness of how valuable and beautiful coral reefs are. Now these are beautiful paintings which I plan to market, but I believe hand illustrations can have a greater impact. So let me show you a project that I've started. I had the good fortune of um, getting invited on a reef survey to an idyllic tiny atoll of Namdrek. And I created a mosaic image. This is just a tiny fraction of what is going to be a 60-inch mural. And this is a fairly early stage. I've done a lot more work on it. But I plan to have 30 species of coral, 40 species of fish, and when this is hand-colored, or computer-colored, this black-and-white image looks almost photographic. And I, I just can't wait to see what this looks like, 60 inches by 61 inches. And this project was inspired by um, similar murals created by the Beehive Collective up in Maine. So. With your help, I'll be able to recover the files, and I'm at the moment unemployed and am living off my dwindling savings. Let me show you some details of coral and why I'm so excited about them. I was able to collect a few samples, and let me give you a neat example. Here is just what looks like a chunk of rock, but it's actually an exquisitely beautiful, uh, massive coral called Pavona. And if you look with a magnifying glass or a macro lens at this detail, this is what you'll find. I've created this graphic image showing the details of what, what are called coralites, the little pits where the polyps, the tiny animals that make the coral live. And these hard corals are very, very important for creating the, found, the foundation of the, of the reef, protecting the island. But there are other corals that are extremely delicate that don't offer so much protection, but obviously they have important um, ecosystem values. They provide food for various fish. This is called Pachycerus. This is a Galaxia. Now, almost everything I'm showing you here is dying from coral disease due to too much sewage in the water. So that's uh, public awareness that needs to be spread. Now, to give you a sense of how my mind works, I noticed that there were a lot of coconuts you find along the shore. And they're just considered waste. It always struck me as a wonderful media for sculpture. So I carved this with a Dremel tool. I just hand drew some lines and it reminds me how uh, nature takes something very simple and creates something exquisitely beautiful. So I'm hoping that my work will be inspirations for other people um, to protect what is most beautiful on our planet. I'd like to show you just one other thing. 
This is a 11 foot mural, a photographic mosaic of a reef that was approved for mining. I call it the blue and gold reef. And it was originally a GoPro uh, video and I s captured frames and created this mosaic and then added more detail so it could be enlarged more. So the local officials um, refused to look at my images. They were not interested in protecting this reef because they could profit by destroying it. But luckily, the um, project concluded before they reached this particular spot. Now they mined several hundred meters of lagoon shore near here and were getting closer and closer. So I brought my students snorkeling here and that's why I was accused of trespass. And this shows you some of the work I was, am doing with time-lapse photographs showing the coral disease. Um, once the infection stops, starts, it may take five or six years to reach its conclusion. And in every case, the entire coral dies. Now, this is just a drop in the bucket. Globally, coral reefs are facing complete destruction due to acidification, warming oceans. But I believe it's really important that we do whatever we can, even if it seems uh, futile, to raise awareness at what is at stake. This is an ex existential question. What are we humans meant to do? Anyway, for me, it's to create art, and I hope you'll help me. Thank you.